Assalamualaikum and hello from Tuanku Jaffa Science School. So today, we are going to show you one of the current issues faced by countries around the world. Let's go! In developing countries such as Malaysia, food insecurity remains vulnerable in the future due to being reliant on imports for maintaining its food supply. Also, disruption in the supply chain of imports from neighbouring countries can potentially result in high food price spikes as households are estimated to use 70% of their budget on food. A systematic approach is required to ensure the population food needs are met. Studies are ongoing to use waste such as coconut pulp as a sort of substitute to replace concentrated feed, namely corn, grain and wheat, which became a problem for developing countries due to the high cost of import. The usage of coconut pulp in preparation of animal feed offers several benefits such as making the product more low-cost, easy to obtain material, cheap and higher nutritional value content that makes the animal grow big, strong and healthy. In the developing world, rapid urbanization and growth of population have become the main source of increasing demand for livestock products. Meanwhile, the lack of broiler chicken supply has created obstacles for the seller, especially for the chicken supplier, because the quality of the chicken usually assessed by a pinkish color of skin, a spring the texture of flesh, and a healthy physical body. Due to these factors, companies that respond to breeding chickens need to keep all these characteristics in check. However, concentrated feed such as grain, corn, and wheat become a problem for developed countries like Malaysia. Due to the high cost of import, the limited wheat production, especially in the tropics, resulted from the worldwide crisis and political controversy in addition to other negative social and environmental consequences. Therefore, there is an urgent need to replace conventional feed ingredients with innovative, economically beneficial and environmentally sustainable ones. Luckily for us, coconut waste had been identified as a large amount of waste in Malaysia. According Rice and Industrial Crop Centre, Mamdi has stated that in year 2007, Malaysia had produced around 382,000 tons of coconut with total of 100,000 hectares of land that are using for planting the coconut trees. Coconut is one of the most high consumption fruit that used in Malaysia and consume around 600 million of coconut in a year. Due to the high consumption of coconut in Malaysia, it produces the large amount of coconut waste, namely coconut pulp. The best commercialized high protein chicken feed for chickens are specifically meat chicken that is consumed by humans are broiler ration. Broiler rations are typically 18 to 20% protein and are available for people who are raising chickens for consumption. To put it in simply, there are three key varieties of broiler feed, starter, grower and finisher, where broiler varieties of chicken feed are denser in protein, which is encourage the flock to grow bigger and faster. This feed has only one main purpose, which is for the chickens fast grow and is what commercial chicken farms use for the chickens for fast production and deliver fast to the slaughterhouses. However, in this case, a broiler chicken will need consume about 1 kg of starter feed, 1.5 kg of the grower feed, and 1.5 kg for the finisher to reach the market weight. As a relief to this problem, this product is to design a recipe for chicken poultry feed using easily attainable waste products such as coconut pulp, and to determine and compare the nutritional value content in the product and commercial chicken feed poultry. By doing so, the commercial potential of our coconut can be determined and evaluated to the significance of our product in the livestock industries and local smallholders. So, how do we make the coconut? To produce a chicken feed using coconut pulp waste, a few preparations need to be made. Firstly, the coconut pulp is collected from industrial factories. Then, the coconut pulp needs to be blended using a blender into smaller bits. The bits are then filtered using a sieve. Second, the black soldier flask larva or the BSF are also blended into a dry mixture to obtain fine and smooth texture of the BSF. 
before setting the mixing process, measurements of the filter coconut pulp and blended PSF are taken along with the volume of molasses and water to be made use in the mixture. As a binding agent, we make use of the most abundant food waste in Malay houses, which is leftover rice. In this case, we make use of the leftover rice from our school dining hall. After the mixing process, the mixture is shaped and compressed by hand in the shapes of packed small spheres. These raw spheres is then pushed down into the pallet making machine to obtain cylindrical, thin and small size feeds that are easy to be consumed by the chicken. The cylindrical pellets are then collected in petri dishes and dried to ensure that most of the water content and moisture from the product is removed. The contrast between industrial conventional chicken feed with our coconut pulp poultry feed's nutritional value can be spectated by comparing the nutritional value content of the feed. A fifth step of analysis has been concluded between them to determine the optimal suitable for the consumption of industrial burger chicken. After a true examination and laboratory test, our product, in fact, has the potential to compete with the existing conventional poultry feed. Firstly, the coconut has a high content of carbohydrates which is 33% and will provide the necessary energy for the chicken unlike the conventional feed which are lower than coconut with 12 of carbohydrates. With the help of fat in coconut which is MCT, medium chain fried this rate, it will also help for building muscles and act as an energy boost for the chicken. Meanwhile, for the protein percentage to the shock of our own, the PSF larvae managed to provide enough protein content same as the conventional feed with around 21%. And for the pure fat, also under a good number of 35% which are plenty for the chicken needs for growing new tissues and organs. Our coconut also contains extra composition that will help with the chicken growth like calcium around 12% to strengthen the chicken bones Magnets 23.27% will help with body metabolism and reproductive system and lastly, selenium around 12% will also help with the homeostasis with the result that we get from the laboratory data. We can conclude that even though our coconut doesn't have exactly the same material as the conventional poultry feed that we use today in fact have the potential to replace the conventional poultry feeds with the help of extra beneficial chemical components in our used material. And also using an easily obtained material like waste rice and coconut pulp. After true inspection, the question still remains whether this product can be commercialized or not. The answer is absolutely yes. This is because our product will become a potential income for coconut-based industries as the coconut pulp waste can be recreated as this new pellet chicken feed where there is an equal potential of our product as a new platform to dominate the global poultry feed market as the already existing chicken feed. Not to mention, it uses low-cost and easy-to-obtain materials that can be used in mass production on a large scale. Furthermore, it could become the main choice for poultry industries and local smallholders due to its characteristic of being a byproduct of other industries. Due to the increasing demand for chicken meat, the conventional poultry feed price is increasing rapidly over time and eventually becomes too expensive to be sold at a big scale from producing broiler chicken. Our product provides the necessary solution to this issue by providing nutrition that's equivalent to the existing conventional poultry feed. The presence of coconut pulp as a prebiotic and carbohydrate will also solve the disease that has been caused by the conventional poultry feed. With the low cost and waste material that has been used in the making of our product, it will surely be able to challenge the nutrition provided by most conventional poultry feed products and compete in the world market. Um, congratulate you all because you are, I mean, uh, you choose the right topic the at the right time and this is um, more on um, uh, put an, uh, one of the alternative uh, for you guys to help the industry especially in this um, uh, food security issue.